Hi, Conrad Gunn here from Lethbridge News Now. Welcome to the weekly from LNN, where we go over some of the biggest stories from this past week and what you can look forward to this weekend. Joe Biden becomes the 46th president of the United States. It was made official Wednesday at Biden's inauguration as he watched performers sing the U.S. anthem and was handed the keys from Donald Trump, who did not participate in the ceremonies. Biden said as his first act as president was to cancel the Keystone XL pipeline. That was a move that made Premier Jason Kenney quite mad, calling the move a gut punch. Kenney then wrote to Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, urging him to meet with Biden to make a case for the pipeline, and Kenney suggested that if talk fails, Trudeau must take measures such as trade sanctions. TC Energy also invested billions into the project, believing it was going ahead, and Kenney committed $1.5 billion last year alone. Following an independent review, Julie Payette has resigned as Canada's Governor General. The review focused on allegations of harassment and a toxic workplace set by Payette. Last year, numerous reports said that she had allegedly harassed members of her staff and an Ottawa-based consulting firm was hired last September to look into the claims, which Payette welcomed because she was, quote, deeply concerned about the allegations. Payette, who allegedly bullied and abused her staff for years, will leave the job with a pension of $143,000 a year for life, plus benefits. On Monday, some COVID restrictions were eased and certain stores were opened up. Those included hairstylists and barbers, manicures and pedicures, aesthetics, reflexology, piercings and tattoo parlors. Also, outdoor social gatherings of no more than 10 people are now allowed. Earlier this month, Albertans were told that COVID restrictions would be in effect until at least January 21st. Well, Thursday was January 21st, and Chief Medical Officer of Health, Dr. Dina Hinshaw, says they're staying in place for a bit longer. Hinshaw also says COVID-19 vaccines have been very safe. Out of over 95,000 doses administered in the province so far, only 0.019% of those have caused adverse effects. 18 instances to date, Hinshaw says six were the result of allergic reactions. Other cases saw patients having diarrhea, vomiting, or a rash. The Alberta government has paused the sale of issued coal leases and paused any future coal lease sales in Alberta and especially the Rockies. Though under these terms, the decision has no impact on existing coal projects currently under review and coal development will still remain an important part of the province moving forward, the government is saying. Over 2,000 customers were left without power in North Lethbridge Tuesday. The city says strong winds gust to a tree hitting the power lines around 8.30 p.m. The outage was resolved just after 11.30. It was another windy day in the region and Lethbridge saw a maximum of gusts of 130 kilometers per hour. Cal Calgary singer Tate McRae performed on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon Tuesday. The 17-year-old breakout artist is exploding onto the celebrity scene with her breakout song, You Broke Me First. Her biggest single has been shooting up the YouTube top charts, currently sitting at 61 million views, which was filmed right in Calgary. And we'll have more details on McRae and more information on Saturday morning. Those are just a few of the stories we've been covering this week. To stay up to date on the latest local regional news, head over to lethbridgenewsnow.com or find us on the Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, or our Lethbridge News Now app. If you have any stories or topics you'd like us to follow, send us a message. Thanks for watching. Tune in next Friday for another edition of The Weekly with me, Connor Gunn. Have a great weekend.